President Trump promoted a vision of unity and prosperity that all Americans can achieve. Um, I, in addition to that, he didn't just give out these vague platitudes that just sounded good. He gave out detailed plans as to how he could achieve those ends and how he could bring America into a new golden age. It was an incredible speech. You know, I, I think he's bringing the American people back together. I think he's bringing the party back together. And you know, we're a divided country. You can see that from our leadership that we have now. It's abysmal. It's disgraceful. It's disgusting. We've got no one leading the helm of the ship. Uh, we're absolutely falling into a, a terrible pit of despair. And I think Trump has shown after the assassination attempt that he can rise up. He can tell the American people to fight. He can bring us together. He can let us know that he's tough. Don't get me wrong, he was coherent, which is more than you can say for the Democrats. And I'm not just talking about Joe Biden, just in general. You know, I mean, the Democrats are incoherent every time they open their mouth. Vance has grown up, uh, he came from a middle class family and his mother struggled with addiction. And as someone who grew up in the Midwest, I can tell you that that's an extremely important issue right now. We have too many Americans dying of fentanyl overdoses. We have too many Americans dying of laced drugs. I think he gave a great speech tonight, especially uh, after everything that happened to him um, in Pennsylvania. I think that it was amazing to see him stand up and give the message that he gave tonight of, of fighting and continuing to carry on and unify the party. I think we've had a huge change in his tone. Um, for even the last, you know, past year, I think President Trump, uh, candidate Trump for president at this point, um, has had a major change in his demeanor, um, in the way he presents himself to, to everybody, to the American public. And I think we're going to see a lot more out of him to garner that respect that we really should see from him. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still pretty undecided. Um, I'm normally not undecided, so this is a little bit strange for me. But I feel like what I've seen from the other side hasn't been impressive at all. So he's at least making coherent sentences. And <laughs> in some regard, you know. <laughs> I supported in 2020 um, Joe Biden, um, mostly because of the judicial issues. I don't. I think Trump, uh, you know, elects really anybody for a judge, where I feel like Joe Biden was a little more, you know, he thought more about it, you know, he made some more difficult decisions with judges, where I feel like Trump's like, if you, you're like anti-abortion, you're on the ticket. 